to speak. Okay, Jose Antonio. One of the things that we have to remember after the uh, massacre happened and some of the bodies were uh, carried away is that there was a lot of shoes, some dirt, you know, clothing, uh, different things, bags, as you can see over here, that people lost. And in the moment that the, the soldiers started shooting at them, they started running and people were tripping on top of each other. So, you know, like that, people lost things. People lost things, but the most impressive things was to see the shoes. The shoes, women's shoes, a lot of women's shoes, some of the men, and, and kids' shoes also. So that was, that's why you can see all around it, how I have, you know, different shoes, or we have some bags, you know, women bags, uh, uh, the hat, uh, some of the clothing, we can see that on this side, you know, just laying around uh, among the dirt or the leaves with that purpose, you know. And also what we did to give you a sense of what it was like was having the, uh, the, the, the contour or the silhouette of human beings or people in the ground used to give you that sense of that. In that plaza there were hundreds of people you know, that have been murdered. Uh, one of the things that I want to, that I always, I always remember was living at El Once de Liste. This was the building where I grew up for 10 years of my life, since I was 10 years old until I was 20, I lived in this building. This was our entrance. Actually, this was our apartment. And here is my bedroom. From this bedroom, I had a full view of the plaza. And also, I, I was able to, to, to see the ruins, the church in the front. So, you know, I had great fun memories from living at this building, El Once de Liste, that's how we know it. Actually, we knew him, knew him also, it's El Once. We always call him. And as I, you know, looking through the window, I had all this wonderful view. First, to the north side, my building was in the uh, west side. To the north side, you could see Boca Siete. This was the building where the students, a high school from Politecnico, Instituto Politecnico Nacional. You know, this is where a lot of the student movement in Tlatelolco was happening. And then it was surrounded by this wonderful uh, architecture. This building, actually, these buildings were more for the upper, you know, for the upper classes. These were all penthouses, suites, and high-end uh, uh, apartments. So, you know, this was the view that I had. And I remember, I usually, usually would walk through this esplanade come to the big plaza and play and see things. In the other side, you know, when I look into the south side, that's when I was able to see the Santiago Tlatelolco Church. Over here, you know, we don't have a view, but over here is the ruins. But, on, but this green area is the, the Aztec market, the ruins of the Aztec market of Tlatelolco. And this church, which was the first church built, in, in, in America Latina, you know, in the continent, in the American continent, was built with the stones of the ruins that the Spaniards uh, took to, to, to create it. This is the contemporary building. It used to be the Foreign Relations Building, Relaciones Exteriores. Wonderful architecture, it's all made of marble, you know. And that was the contrast between the pre Hispanic symbolism of the Tlatelolco market, the colonial with the church, and this was contemporary Mexico. That's why it was called, and it still is called, La Plaza de las Tres Culturas, or the Plaza of the Three Cultures. And, you know, across from my building was a Chihuahua building, which was an exact uh, model or architectural uh, building as the one I grew up. But the importance of the Chihuahua is this corner. Because from this terrace, the tercer piso, la terraza del tercer piso, that's where the student leaders would be talking to the people who were in the battle. You know, that's where they had uh, the rally, they would have the microphones and, the, and start uh, giving their uh, speech. So this was a very important building because also was a building that was 
had the most damage. Actually, all of them, but this one was the, you know, was the focus of facing the arrest of the students, a lot of uh, the, 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 the balazos, the, the, the shooting, went into some of these apartments. So, you know, it, again, it's a very important building for the 12th of October, for that night of Tlatelolco, October the 2nd.